are the Delos Islands, two sides of the same coin. Delos, sacred birthplace of Artemis and Apollo, and Mykonos, where people do everything that's forbidden on Delos. Read me the note again. Eagle-bearing Mystios. That's you. Otharkis, cruel leader of Delos Islands, takes money from our pockets and food from our mouths, all to feed his inset... Insati... Insatiable. Yes! His insatiable thirst for power. Odarkis is one of them, Varnavas. The ones hunting my family. Keep reading. We are a modest but fierce group of rebels who'd pay you handsomely to help us overthrow our vile oppressor. I pray the winds guide you swiftly to our shores, Mystios. Our people are dying. Signed, Kira. We arrived just in time to help. You see, Poseidon wasn't trying to drown you. He was getting you where you needed to go. Aggressive. Does the note say where Kira is? There are two locations marked. A camp along the northwestern coast and a hideout that looks like it's underneath the city. It's time I met with this Kira. I'll have the ship ready in case we need any immediate departures. That was Kefalonia, and that was mostly your fault. Ha-ha! <laughs> Here, Cassandra! Here, Varnavas. <gasps> Seems like a good place for a hideout. I'm looking for the one called Kira. I've come in response to a call for help. You missed. Are you here to spy, Athenian? Or maybe you are Athena herself. Dressed in a dirty disguise? I came to help a fierce group of rebels. But I show up and you're all drunk. Podarkis and his men have been hunting and killing us without mercy. His spies are everywhere. He won't rest until all who oppose him are dead. We are all that's left of the resistance. This is the first night we aren't fighting for our lives. And it could be our last. And suddenly, you show up. This is why I'm here. It's your symbol, right? You're the Mystios who bears the Eagle of Zeus. My apologies. These are dangerous times for anyone waging war against the Athenian Empire and the Delian League. I am Kira. I came here to help you deal with one man, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to the mighty Cassandra and Sparta, too. Podarkis discovered the other cap and sent Athenian soldiers to attack. Malaka! You and your rebels are too drunk to fight. Leave the soldiers to me. Yeah. <laughs> if you think I'm going to miss a chance to kill Athenians, you're the one who's drunk. Did Sparta answer your call for help? 
A polemarchos named Thaletas and a handful of Spartans landed on Mykonos not long before you. It's their camp we're headed to, isn't it? Thaletas needs our help now, though he'd never admit it. Sounds Spartan, all right. Die! Let's go! Fought well, Kira. You too, Spartan. I was, but that was a long time ago. Spartan blood is eternal, stranger. What's your name? This is Cassandra, the one I told you about. They call me Thaletas. I was Polemarchos to the Spartans here. Was? Our ship was sunk. Our generals killed. There are only a few of us left. We've all lost friends to this war. And we will mourn them later. She's right. We shouldn't be standing here drenched in Athenian blood. We'll be safe in the hideout. Let's talk there. Will you come to the hideout now or meet us there later? There's no time to waste. We'll go to the hideout now. How long till Podarkis finds us? We're right under his nose! His nose is so high in the air, he couldn't find the statue of Artemis Agrotera if he was standing on her head! We know where he lives! I say we knock down his door and run our spears through his face. That's a terrible plan. The Spartan phalanx is impenetrable in a ground assault. Not when there's only 12 of you. You think with your heart. That's what I like about you. But you're a general to those men now. You need to think with your head. All you do is hide in caves and lurk in shadows. We didn't come here to hide. We came here to fight. And we will. But right now we're outnumbered. We must be strategic. Cassandra, what do you think we should do? Kira's right. Taking them head on would be suicide. Sailing here was suicide! Right now, my men are on the beach. That's where I'll be! Then let us don't! If you decide you actually want to win this rebellion, come find me. Ah, uh, Spartans. Don't mind him. He'll be fine after he kicks something. But I'm glad you agree with me, Cassandra. Meet me at the Temple of Artemis. There we can discuss how to take down Podarkis. This is going to be a long rebellion. <laughs> Cassandra, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you didn't throw another blade at me. I know, I know. You came all this way and I was cruel to you. Well, you weren't the first, and you won't be the last. Dillians are kind people. At least we were. Before him. Paul Darkis. That man's been hunting me my whole life. Podarkis and others like him want me and my family dead. He executed my family when I was very little. I survived on the streets. Was raised by hunters, rogue warriors, and mercenaries like you. They are my family now. And one day, I will fire an arrow into his black heart. One for every Dillian family he's destroyed. Then it's time we turn this predator into prey. How do we get past his guards? Soldiers need two things to fight. Swords in their hands and food in their bellies. Take them away and the guards fall. 
Scouts reported Podarkis' supplies and weapons were stockpiled in the old ruins on Delos Island. I'll go to Delos, find their stockpiles and destroy them. Break their supplies, break their will. Vargas' well, troops will be helpless. Who knew rebelling was this much fun? Fighting me would be your last mistake! Should destroy these without attracting attention. That should do it. Kira will want to hear about this. Cassandra, you return. And is it done? Podarkis' well, guards will have to fight with their fists and on empty stomachs from now on. Excellent. So, what will you do once Podarkis is dead and the rebellion is won? The sad truth is, I have no idea. For as long as I can remember, every day has been a struggle to live, to love. Vengeance has all but consumed me. And what will Cassandra do once this is over? We have a lot in common. I was hoping when the smoke clears, we could find somewhere quiet. And what exactly do we have in common? I just... we... I just thought that's what people said to each other. I wasn't expecting a follow-up. <laughs> the mighty Cassandra caught off her guard. Relax, a moment together would be nice. It's time we got going. When Podarkis learns of what happened on Dilos, he'll want revenge. And the first to suffer will be the Dilians. Here. to be a blade in your throat. Even if you kill me, you will lose me better. We are everywhere. There isn't a right under where we won't find you. You are the snakes we hide. I'm going to bury you so deep that only Hades will find you.
What I did, I did for the glory of Delos. You acted alone, and you will die alone. Eagle Bearer, my name is Herodianos, second to Thaletas in battle. The dogs of war howl for blood, and thanks to you, Sparta now howls back. Sounds like a lot of howling. Fight with us! Together we'll run our shields through their skulls and spears through their hearts! I'd be honored to fight with Sparta. To battle! What's with all the whispering? Shh. If the soldiers hear us, they'll kill me. You're the Mystios working for Kira and the rebels, yes? I am. Yes, you are. Many whispers of your deeds, Mystios. Many whispers. Many secrets, too. About the rebel girl. If you know something, spit it out. If the soldiers see me, they'll kill me. Apollo knows they already tried. There's a house. Near the market, been boarded up for ages. Sneaky sneak your way in. We'll talk after. Strange. I should find the house, see what this beggar has to say. <laughs> A note was left behind. A warning from Podarkis. He was paying this woman to keep quiet. About what? Bloody footprints. A child's. Must have been hiding in that chest. This woman was killed. Left in the open without dignity. Huh. An Athenian spear tip broke off in her ribs. Wooden dolls. A mother and child. One engraved with the letter M, and the other K. Nothing else to find here. I need to speak with that strange woman. Oh. And what did the Mystios find? A body. A woman. She was killed by an Athenian spear. This is all? There was a letter from Podarkis. Said he'd kill them both if she broke her silence. Both? Why kill a child unless... Oh, it was his. They could be listening. Now tell me, quietly, what else did you find? The dolls. Engraved with the letters K and M. M is for Mater. You asked who I worked for. The little doll with the K? The child was Kira. Yes, yes, which means? By the gods. Podarkis is Kira's Pater. Very wise, Mistyos. Very wise indeed. Kira needs to know. She'll never believe you. Never. Her whole life she hunts the man who sent Athenians to kill her mother in front of her terrified eyes. But the gods spared little Kira. She escaped. Kira needs to know Podarkis is her father. But I won't confront her until I have proof. The woman came to Podarkis' house one night, begged me to give him the doll Kira made for him. If Podarkis had it, he might have kept it somewhere. Only the gods would know. I will find this doll. Now the Mistyos knows who she works for. The others should know too. Ah. Podarkis kept the doll Kira made for him. She engraved it with the letter P. For Pater.
Where's Kira? She's... Miss me already, Miss Dios? Kira, there's something I need to tell you. That look on your face, so serious. Sit, relax, drink some wine. What I'm about to say is for you alone. Follow me. Now that you have me all alone, what is it you want to tell me? There is no other way to say this. Podarkis is your father. <laughs> what sort of joke is this? This isn't a joke. I will kill you where you stand! This can't be. Kira, I'm sorry. He took everything from me. How did you find this? I found your old house. I know about your mother. I can still hear her screams. A storm of blue armor and red blades tore through our home. I had to run through mother's blood to escape. I never returned to that place. It was best you didn't. It's good you told me in private. The men don't need to know this, not yet. But please, leave me for a while. I need to be alone. The people are happy. As they should be! For the first time since Ares cursed us with war, the Delos Islands know freedom! But where's Kira? It's not like her to miss a chance to drink with her troops. She told me you kept her secret. I'm still shocked. Odarkis was a complicated man, but he was still her father. She snuck off to send him to the ferryman alone. All good warriors deserve their send-off, I suppose. Even Podarkis. Pray that we're shown the same kindness when our time comes. In the meantime, there is wine to be drunk and tales to be told. <laughs> Make the tale great. The troops deserve it. Even Thaletas. Indeed he does! He's just up the stairs, that way! I've been meaning to tell him how I lost this eye. And the crew? Ready to sail? On your order! But first... Let the crew enjoy a drink and a song. You deserve one too. For the ferryman. Go now, into the river of black night, and embrace the boundless gloom. You shall wander, obscure, even in the house of Hades, flitting among the shadowy dead. You shouldn't have to say goodbye alone. I'm glad I'm not alone. I've wanted to watch him burn for so long. Now that it's happened, I thought I'd feel peace. And what do you feel? I used to feel vengeful. Now, empty.
I was in your place once. The vengeance dies, then the emptiness dies too. Give it time. Time! I gave my entire life! I want it done. Kronos devours his children, rips them flesh from bone. Zeus had Prometheus torn open by beds for an eternity. Fate is cruel, and the gods are wicked. Right here, right now, all that matters are the people who have fought for you. They need you now, not the gods. You're right. They do need me. And I need them. We're rebels with nothing left to rebel against. They need me now more than ever. Thank you. Kira, he's gone. Your rebels are waiting. They're celebrating. <sighs> Let's celebrate with them. Goodbye, Pater. You look happy. I said goodbye to the past with your help. Now we welcome what the fates will bring. You were there when Kira needed you. You're an ally to Sparta and to our islands. We can't lose any more men to get in. I wanted to be there for Kira. She needed me. You needed me. Right. Well, did you hear about Thaletas? Sparta is calling him home. They intend to make him a general. And I've already told them no. My place is here on Vilos, rebuilding my home with the woman I love. You earned the celebration, and all the prosperity the gods will bring. The gods gave me more than enough. Any prosperity is for the people of the islands, not us. Thank you, Cassandra. We owe you our lives. You look ready to go. Podarkis is gone. Thaletas and Kira have their islands, and I have other targets to hit. You are victorious! Not that I ever doubted it. Why not say goodbye? A rousing speech to get the blood flowing. Let's say goodbye. Charute! Settle down, settle down! Cassandra has something she'd like to say. We have won! But now the real work begins! You must build a new home! A fair home! One where cruel people like Podarkis can never rise to power! And now, a toast to Cassandra! To victory! What a speech! Though I think some of the rebels like fighting more than rebuilding. I think they liked it. Of course, of course! Who wouldn't? I'll round up the crew. See you back at the ship? Socrates! The rebels are hunting Athenians. What are you doing here? I came to teach, as I always do, but don't worry. I sail on a merchant ship set for Attica in the morning. Wise as always. Thanks for coming to see us off. Speaking of being off, Varnavas, are we ready to sail? The crew are in fine spirits, if a little hungover. But the ship is ready. Good. I only wish we weren't leaving Kira and Thaletas alone to rebuild what's been destroyed by the Rebellion. Are any of us truly alone who have our friends and allies beside us? Exactly! Do you remember what you told me when you first set foot on these sands? I said we came here to help people. That's what we set out to do, and that's precisely what you did! They don't call you the mighty Mystios for nothing! <laughs> who calls me that? 
He does. Now then, it's time we give the crew some orders. Where do we sail to next? The world is ours, and the wind is at our backs. We sail for adventure, Varnavas, just as we always do. The filthy rebel stole from the sanctuary. He spilled blood. <laughs> Socrates! You just make friends wherever you go, don't you? Cassandra, what a pleasant surprise. What brings you to Thelos? I'm helping a group of Thelian rebels. Hmm, but do they truly need help? Is not the decision to rebel enough to release one from oppression? Oh, no, you don't. I'm not getting sucked into one of these debates again. Yet right now there's a situation I would love your opinion on. Fine. Soldiers captured the rebel. He stole from the sanctuary to help finance the rebellion. When guards attempted to apprehend the man, he killed one of them. Murder on Delos? They're probably going to kill him. Indeed. Though it's illegal to end his life here, so he awaits his fate to be transported to Mykonos. Where do I come in? Would you say this rebel deserves death? That killing him brings justice? Let me answer that by asking you this. What exactly is justice? A brilliant question. He stole, which is wrong. But it was for the freedom of his people, which is right. He killed a man. To save his own life. He broke a sacred law, one he knew honored the gods. So you're saying he can kill and steal, but stay in the earth and he should have his throat cut? I am saying nothing, but when we stray from the law, are we not like the animals? <laughs> You know my opinion on that. Can I go now? Of course, of course. There's just one more thing. Ugh, there always is. The rebel is being held north of here in the Estiatorium. They're shipping him to Mykonos tomorrow. Wait, all this just to convince me to save the man? Convince, never. Though I am curious, now that you know where he's held and why, would you save him? I'm going to pay this rebel a visit. Sounds like we have a lot in common. I thought you might, though I have no drachmi to give, only knowledge. Which one should prefer, for it is perpetual, not transitory. Well, that's... something, I think. <laughs> Let me go! You'll never get me back to Mykonos! Kira will come and kill you! Fall back to where you came from, pigs. This is the land of Apollo. I'll make Thank you, Mystios. They were going to kill me, but you killed them first. There will be more. Hurry, follow me. I saw you. You loved spilling blood on sacred soil, just like me. I'm nothing like you. Now shut up and follow me before you get us killed. Death to our oppressors! And anyone else who tries to claim the Delos Islands! Delians are free! More Delians will die if you don't shut up. Silence is what led to this. I'll scream till my lungs bleed, and also... You have a very loud mouth. You could have gotten us both killed. Then I'll sacrifice with set fire to the hearts of the rebels. Then cast every non-Delian into the sea for Poseidon to chew up and spit out. You realize I'm not Delian. The Spartans who fought and died for the rebellion are also not Delian. Athenians want these islands for our wealth. The Spartans want these islands for Sparta. I won't let them have it. We don't need them. We don't want them. Delians should rule Delos alone. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going straight to Kira. The rebels must leave their caves. The time to attack is now. Go, and don't come back. Every soldier on Dilos will be looking for you. Let them find me. I already sent one to his grave. I'd love to send another. Malaka! <gasps> Socrates! Oh. Another foreigner has spilled blood on sacred soil. Perhaps they did. But, mistake, 
Ah, Cassandra, seeing you on Thelos sets my heart at ease. So tell me, how was your encounter with the rebellious prisoner? You never told me he was an extremist lunatic. Ah, but who am I to judge? What is too much or too crazy? Are we not both at some point or another? He would have thrown you and your philosophies into the sea. <laughs> Perhaps when I was thinner, both in weight and philosophy. So, tell me, were you able to resolve the situation without bloodshed? The rebel had guards. I relieved them. Hmm, interesting. You thought the life of a thief and a murderer was worth more than that of soldiers doing their duty. I wasn't even thinking about him, to be honest. And what of the rebel? Should be on his way back to Mykonos, if he knows what's good for him. Our choices are like ripples on water. They seem tiny and insignificant at the beginning, but they can become devastating tidal waves by the time they run their course. It's a pleasure, Socrates. I can always count on you to give me a devastating headache. <laughs> the pleasure is mine, Cassandra. Hope to see you around the symposiums again. Don't hold your breath. You're bleeding. A lot. Come to turn me into the priests? Depends what you've done. Don't know if anyone told you, but it's illegal to die on this godforsaken island. So I've been told. Shame nobody told the beast roaming around. Vrach me to the one who kills it! If you're paying, I'll hunt and kill this beast for you. You're not the first hunter to tell me that. But I still have all my Vrach me. I'll find the beast and kill it. Try not to bleed out before I return. Mighty beast, but you did not belong here. A bloody handprint hasn't been here long. A shipwreck might explain how that bear got to Lilas. record says the bear came from Arcadia. There's nothing left to find here. I should return to the woman. You're alive! And the monster? The bear is dead. I've never seen one like it. You killed it! So this is over. I found some bloody handprints and a shipping record near a broken cage. The bear is dead, and that's all that matters. Tell me where you're from. Now. I came from Arcadia. You're a smuggler. You only wanted the beast dead because you knew if it started killing the Lians, they'd have your head. What would you have me do? I couldn't kill the thing. I tried. The Dillians are crazy. Do you know what they do to foreigners who bring death to their island? So, you let a bloodthirsty bear roam free? We were smuggling cargo from Arcadia to cause for a man named Sargon. Ran around during a storm and the bear broke loose and killed the crew. I know. I saw the bodies. Those bodies were my friends. Please, I'll pay you. You can't tell the Villians this was my fault. You know, the Thelians would pay a good price for the person who brought this curse to their sacred land. You wouldn't! I would. Pay me, and maybe your secret dies along with that bear. 
Despicable, Miss Dios. My family is dead, and you want more Brahmi? I might be injured, but I can still kill you! So now they have people watch us get punished. That's a different kind of shame. I'm not here to watch. I just saw you by chance. What you saw was a man who paid his master for freedom, but is being kept a slave. You can do that? My master gave me a price for my freedom, and I saved until I had enough. Now that I've given him the drachmi, he pretends as if the deal never existed. That isn't right. Let me talk to him for you. Really? You do that? My name is Phaedon. I don't know who you are, but surely you were sent by the gods. They must have heard my prayers. They did, and you deserve their help. I can sense something in you. You're special. I like to think so. Gods or not, I'm grateful. My master should be near the silver mine. He's likely overseeing other slaves like myself. I'll talk to your master. And make sure he listens. He's not really the listening type. He will be with me. You look strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves. Fedon. As if I know their names! You're wasting my time! Give me a moment to explain. That's close enough to begging for me. Fine. Speak. There's a man who paid you for his freedom. He'd like you to follow through on that promise. Hmm... Doesn't sound familiar. But I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, and I'll give this Phaedon his freedom. What is it? There's a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves, but the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're a member of the cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Bearer. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays that way. And I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. One person's freedom is another's demise. Cassandra! What chance that we should meet here? It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic? To be about fate. No, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. Attica is large, yet fate keeps bringing us together. Ah, you're trying to bring us back to fate once again. I won't let you avoid answering my questions, though. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? There's no difference between one person and another. We all take our first breath the same way. But are the breaths you take equal to my own? Would you not say the breath of Pericles is put to better use than that of someone in prison? It doesn't matter which two people you compare. The answer is the same. So, a thief is equal to a priest, a politician to a child? An interesting view. I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You do, Socrates. What is it? 
I'm not going to kill someone so you'll free Fedon when he should have been already. Fine. I'll find someone else to kill her, and Fedon will remain my slave. I'll be sure he receives a grand reward for wasting so much of my time. Soldiers, you better have a good reason for being here. We Spartans stand together. So here I am. Yes, Spartan blood matters most. Looks like this victory will bring you glory. The rewards of skill and effort. It's the Spartan way. From slave to general, bathing in the blood of this war while our leaders stuff their faces and preen. The Polemarchos believe it's an easy victory. I will end this war in my favor. You have a strategy? Athenian Polemarchos are paralyzed with indecision. They serve too many masters. Making them slow to react. And that's where you come in. Infiltrate their forts and kill the Polemarchos. I need a way clear for my troops. I'll do my part. Consider the commanders already dead. Bring me their Athenian seals as proof? You'll be rewarded for your efforts. You... are you... Cassandra of House Ayad? I am. I am Xanthi, Magistrate of Pitana. I have a noble task befitting someone of your high station. My son is to start his military training at the Agoyi. My husband is away at war, and I have official business to attend to. Can you escort him for me? I can escort your son to the camp, Master. Good. He'll learn how to be a man like his father and brother, or he'll die trying. It will be my honor to take him to begin his education as a Spartan. You are an agent of Zeus. I don't pretend to know the thoughts of the gods, but I'm happy to guide your son. My youngest is a dreamer. His head is filled with boyhood stories. He must learn how to serve his nation first, and then his family. It's not an easy path. He will find glory as a true Spartan soldier, or die bravely in the attempt. There is no greater way to honor Sparta. You'll find the Agogi camp southwest of here, near the foothills of the mountains. Makarios, come here. Hello. I'm Cassandra. I am honored to meet you, Eagle Battle. I can't wait to learn to fight like my brother Theoros, and to hear all your stories of deadly monsters and glorious adventures. This way, Cassandra. The Agogi is up in the mountains. So we get there and closer to Olympus. What's it like being a mercenary? I do what I must to get by. My brother said the same thing about being a man in Sparta. We learn to fight, to die for our family and our country. I can't wait. You love your home, eh? I do. We are strong and we are free. And any man will happily give his life for his city, his fellow soldiers and his children. So, how many children do you have? Oh, no, none. But when I'm older, I'm going to marry Athena, and will have the strongest sons. <laughs> well, then. Do you know why a Spartan soldier can lose his stomach or spear without worry? But if he loses his shield, he's punished beyond all measure. Tell me. Stay on your guard! Stand your ground! There's so much blood. Life ends. Hot and messy. What of your brother? 
He's the best. He's amazing to watch in the games. He's fast and strong, and he can throw the javelin and disc farther than anyone. Oh, yes? I'm faster than anyone my age, but Theodos is like Heracles himself. He sounds like a god made flesh. He's my hero. He even sings like Orpheus. Do you want to hear me sing? The mother says I sing like a harpy. No, that's okay. I'll be glad to meet him. Kere, I bring you a new charge, trainer. Makarios, son of Serios. Yes, sir. I can't wait to see my brother. Quiet, boy. No questions. You'll focus on your own lessons and duties, and speak when spoken to. Yes, sir. You'll taste dirt and blood here. I'll force you to eat a thousand bitter lessons to harden you into the bronze shield your city needs. Yes, sir. Now, Mistios. You look like you've been in a few scrapes. A scrape or two? Hundred? I like to think I've given as good as I've gotten. Ha! Spoken like a true warrior. What say we give these summer youths a spectacle? Show them a clash of titans! Let's give these kids a show they'll sing of for years. Ah! <laughs> You do fight with the strength of the gods. Now that we know you can fight, I have a serious matter to discuss. Oh? Two of my older students have gone missing. And I need someone I can trust to find them. They should know enough to take care of themselves. Yes. But the world is full of unexpected dangers. And I cannot leave my charges to investigate properly. I can look for them. Tell me what I need to know. The two students who are missing are called Akamas and Theoros. Theoros? Makarios' brother? The same. I fear I have failed the magistrate. I'll look at the campsite and see what I can find. Burned patch. Someone dropped a torch in surprise. A lost shield. That is a bad omen. Signs of battle. A body. Hmm. Doesn't look much like Makarios or Xanthi. Must be the other boy. A trail. Someone ran towards the mountain heights. Could be Theoros. Have my thanks. Have mercy. Cut me free. My gratitude, warrior. I was certain I would not see another day. What's your name? Theoros. Your brother worships you and will be overjoyed to see you. Makarios, 
Has the time come for him to join the Agogi already? Yes. He already studies with trainer Iatroclis. Curse all of Olympus. He isn't ready for this. Will you be a Spartan and retrieve your shield and your place in the line? Or will you run off and offend the gods, leaving your duty behind? If the gods are offended by my choices, they should never have put me in this skin. I never wanted to be a warrior. We do what we must in this world, not what we want. I must leave Sparta then, or else die by slow suicide. Thank you for my life, but tell my mother I want to return. What do you have to share with me, Mistyos? Magistrate Xanthi, I have black news for you. Your older son is lost. Dead? In the face of danger, Theoros abandoned his shield and fled his duty. This is hard news, a blow upon my heart. I do not thank you for your words, but they needed to be heard. Makarios has started his training at the Agoyi. And who knows? Maybe one day, Theoros... I have but one son now, Mistyos. To other matters. There are several in the region who could benefit from your presence, Eagle Bearer. Help them. Inspire them. And I'll reward you. Give me their names. The farm owner, Laniki, as well as several of the town's important women, Zita, Zamia, and Zefxo. I'll find them and see what they want of me. May the Dioscuri watch over your path. Oh, Ira and Aphrodite, please grant my daughter the virtue of obedience. Eagle Bearer, you bless this temple with your presence. If I may ask, I'm having a little problem. I'm not a problem. I'm a Spartan. You keep at home supervising farmers while I could be out in the world finding adventure. You give my brothers the chance to explore. Why not me? An explorer, are you? So, you're the Eagle Bearer everyone's been talking about. I hope you live up to your reputation. I'm Zophiras. Could you please educate my daughter to behave as a Spartan woman should? If both you and Zophiras agree, I'll train your daughter to be a fine Spartan. Beginning with her physical strength, of course. It's the only way she can keep your household safe and prosperous. The Eagle Bearer is right, Mater. Spartan women must be strong. You can call me Cassandra. I suppose if the Eagle Bearer says it, all right. Train my daughter as you see fit. Let's begin your training with running. Try to keep up. But Spartans never run. Only cowards do. Why should I train in running? Strong legs mean you'll thrust your spear with more force. And yours do seem very strong. Let's race through the theater to the entrance of the Dromos. Last one there's a wounded goat. You could make it. I'll get you next time. Now we'll race horses. But not like they do in athletic games. We'll make our own course. Horses? Why should I bother with those filthy beasts? We have Elotes for that. Horses are beasts of muscle and power. You'll never understand until you hold one between your thighs. Well, when you put it that way, ride on. Let's race to the bridge south of Sparta. Ready? Go!
horse wasn't feeling so good today. Don't blame the beast for your shortcomings. How are my lessons so far, Zophiras? Not bad. But why did you decide to teach me anyway? Don't you have more exciting things to do? Treasures to find, tyrants to depose... If no one taught, people would live alone in their ignorance. By sharing knowledge, we grow closer together. I might like to get closer. Do you have a suggestion for our next bit of training? There's a place I found in the southern hills with a wonderful view. Will you go there with me? I like the view already, but let's go. So, does that bird follow you everywhere? Icarus! Yes, he likes to keep an eye on me. Are you jealous? <laughs> if you don't mind being watched, I don't either. Did Zeus give you any special powers? You know, Achilles got invulnerability, and at least the strength of a god. If you know the old stories, you know what Zeus is especially good at. If you have that kind of talent, just call me Pandora. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely. I think I'm beginning to understand you, Cassandra. Are you? Tell me, who do you think I am? You answer my questions with such passion and authority. You like being in charge, don't you? You might be right. Why did you bring me out here? I thought we might continue our training with something more... personal. But you seem exhausted from keeping up with me for so long. Thanks for the exercise, though. Oh, I have to train more myself. 